Malaysia, a newborn country with multiple ethnic and cultural groups, is known as a top tourism country. She is generous and tolerant, embraces all races and beliefs, full of energy and excitement. She is the shared homeland of Malays, Indians, Chinese, and other nationalities. Her children respect each other, live in harmony, and love their motherland. Every year, more than 20 million visitors come to Malaysia. With them, they bring new energy to this wonderland in the southeast of Asia. People yearn for a true feeling of the magical land, where they can get a close look at the charm of multicultural harmony. Cultural blending makes Malaysia a food paradise. Here you can find local delicacies and cuisines from overseas. Amongst all of them, teh tarik is an important element of Malaysian traditional food culture. As one of the three major drinks, tea is popular all over the world, from east to west, north to south. People have their own local tea culture. Traditional British afternoon tea starts at 4 in the afternoon. The Mongolians have their tea at the mealtime. However, it is hard to find a place quite like this, where people are drinking a special kind of tea 24 hours a day. Now, Teh Tariq was created by Indian Muslim immigrants. They came to old Malaya for work because of labor booming. Along with their strength, the Indian immigrants brought their tradition of drink stalls to the Malay Peninsula. Some of them chose to sell tea at the entrance of rubber plantations after World War II to serve the workers there. Start from the colonial era, Teh Tarik has been a popular drink in the UK, Malaysia, and Singapore. The name Teh Tarik originated in the Malay language. Teh means tea, Tarik means pearl. They sell a native Malaysian tea mixed with black or white evaporated milk from the Netherlands and a dash of cinnamon powder. Throughout that, Teh Tarik has both the aroma of milk and the sweetness of spices. After thoroughly mixing tea and milk, here comes the most important process of pulling tea. Rather than being stirred with a spoon, the milk tea is poured repeatedly from a higher container to the lower one. The container is about approximately one meter away. The whole set of actions is repeated at least seven times. The tari, I mean the pull each other, this one become a whole little bit, then you'll get a different flavor. During this process, a large amount of air is mixed in to the milk tea to cool it down. It is, the best time. it is the best time to taste the tea while enjoying the smooth foam. All country got tea, right? So, so I came here and then I tried to do something different. So in our country, also I'm from Bangladesh. In our council also got tea, but not they never pull each other. So here we pull each other, different kind of flavor we are getting. Uh, I learned from here, my supervisor and manager. Uh, you know, you know this territory actually uh, last 200 years before, the Sultan wanted a different kind of tea. Mm. Then he decided that one Serbian told him that. In fact, Teh Tarik is simple to make and is only made with common ingredients. Just buy three ringgit and everybody can enjoy a nice cup of teh tarik. Not too complex, not too expensive. Those are the secrets why everybody can easily get a cup of teh tarik at any place at any time. Yeah. 
we see friends, we we'll go for Te Tare. So yeah, it's been uh, some years. It is one which wakes you up early in the morning, which accompanies you with hot lunch, one which helps you enjoy your leisure time, and of course also which strengthens your relationship with your friends at the late night mamak. After you drink, uh, after drinking it, uh, do you think it's delicious, or what do you like about it? Oh, it depends on the quality. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, if they select a good tea leaf and and a good milk, mm -hmm. then that tea tare is number one. And uh, sometimes the tea leaves are no good. When you drink it, your stomach, you know, uh, like you some more feel uh, So I don't go there again. You know. I don't drink tea tare. I drink too much. 很这里很很很少很很有喝酒，这大人很多。Because Malaysia is an Islamic country and Muslims are not allowed to drink alcohol. Teh Tarik is often used as a replacement. It has become an essential part of everybody's social life. Hence, Teh Tarik became a 24-hour drinking culture. It is not only a drink for the working class, but also a favorite among the younger generation. 小时候就经常跟父母一起去，我们称为妈妈档那边一起喝。Beyond the drink itself, the tari is a symbol of the underlying culture. They were sitting in a food stall, chatting, watching sports together, and of course drinking the tari. These are unique views of Malaysia. 在你们日常生活中扮演一种什么样的角色？嗯，就好像一个，怎么样讲，就类似一个必需品啊，就来妈妈当一定要喝茶，就一定要喝奶拉茶，这种。有尝过其他地方奶茶，比如说台湾的奶茶啦，中国的奶茶，不，就珍珠奶茶那种奶茶，就不一样味道。有时候就好像茶摊那些，就不一样，还是不一样。The process of making tea tarik is no longer just a craft. There are some national-wide competitions held in Malaysia. Participants compete with each other to see who can pull the tea in the most skillful manner. Some masters even can stretch the tea from four feet away from the pot. Besides, you can also see tea tarik in performances. People sing and dance to the melodious southern music with the typical tea pulling actions. Famous for its accuracy and smoothness, traditional tea pulling performances are a welcome program in Malaysian culture. Nowadays, tea tarik is no longer just a common drink but rather the national symbol of Malaysia it stands on parallel because it shows diversity. Combined with Indian crafts, British making methods, Chinese drinking habits and Malay customs, Teh Tarik is widely popular among the Indians, Europeans, Chinese and of course the Malays. I saw it a couple of times and uh, someone ordered it and now I was curious to order it myself. I really like it. So you haven't tried it before in Germany? Yes, because my family, they are from Pakistan. So I'm used to drinking chai like tea. But this is still a bit different. Because uh, in Pakistan we, we cook everything together. Like you put like the black tea and make and let it cook like for a couple of minutes, three, four minutes. But I think here you just first uh, use the black tea and afterwards put the milk a bit. So I notice a, a slight difference. It's very delicious and uh, I can smell like the black tea, so it's strong. And that's what I like, like normal uh, black tea is not so strong. But this one is strong and that's what I like. But the milk, it, it kind of kind of smooths the strength. So it's like the perfect combination. And 
now I can imagine drinking this instead of coffee because normally, I, I, like in Germany, I used to drink coffee every morning. But this is like a good alternative, in my opinion. Do you recommend it to your family or your friends when you about go back to your country? Definitely. So I would recommend it. Even like my my family, my parents drink it. But sometimes uh, I also make it for my friends, and I would recommend it. Great heartache is a reflection of Malaysia's diverse society, filled with different races from different parts of the world. Malaysia thinks them as part of a huge family, and Great heartache is the bond to strengthen, to tighten their relationship and find recognition. The popularity of Great heartache illustrates a peaceful and friendly Malaysia society. from just a cup of drink and see the extension of culture and the evidence of time.